on Thursday Night Football on NFL Network, the player of the month of October, still playing in October. Andy Dalton and the Cincinnati Bengals getting things started. Uh, but it th it, it, we pick things up in the second half here with it being a 10-3 game, and Andy Dalton throws a pick six. A big play by Brent Grimes right here, Dion. Brent Grimes, he, he has a knack for making plays on the ball, can catch, can run. This guy is a total package, and will come up and make a tackle. Made it 17-3, but that was a long drive by the Bengals that was ended by a pick six right there, meaning the Bengals got the ball right back, and Giovanni Bernard Marshall started running through a tired defense early and often in that third quarter. The Bengals' quarter. offensive line started to dominate the line of scrimmage, and when you get that, you provide some holes for Gio, and he's going to get you yards. So Giovanni Bernard That's scored a, a touchdown, run. and then later, there are only nine spots left in the top ten plays of the year reviews that you will see come early January That's because Giovanni won. Bernard put himself in the clubhouse on that front with that run, Marshall. That was a great run. You know, Rich, looking at that run, I thought that was the dagger. I mean, he starts right. Uh, th this takes a lot out of a bat, but it takes even more out of a defense. Look at the guys blocking down the field. That's what you have, and then you make a couple of guys miss and then dive into the end zone. That's just a great, great effort it by Gio. A 35-yard run, but he probably ran about 60 for those 35 yards to tie the game at 17. And then Dalton got the ball back with five minutes to go in the game, and Muhammad Sanu goes over the middle. Danell Ellerby picks him off. The ball hits Sanu right in the hands. It was a perfect throw by uh, Andy Dalton. But the ball pops up and Edison intercepts. Ryan Tannehill trying to turn that pick into some game-winning points on third and six, however. Adam Jones not called for pass interference. Boy, he shouldn't have been called. It was a great play. So <laughs> he laughs. Giovanni Bernard left this game with what appeared to be a rib injury, would not return. So Andy Dalton, without his dynamic running back, trying to drive the team down the field. And here is Sanu making a play here on third down to move the chains with a minute 48 to go. Mike Nugent eventually comes out with 89 ticks to go from 54 yards away, and he got it with room to spare as well. Keep that in mind as the Bengals passed up a 57-yard opportunity in overtime. Meanwhile, we did go to overtime because Ryan Tannehill made the plays down the stretch. Yes, he did. Plays like that right there. A perfect throw on the sideline to Brian Hartline. That was a dime of Although a throw. some thought he did not get his second foot down. As a defense, you must guard the sideline. Meanwhile, here comes Caleb Sturgis from 44 yards away with 13 seconds to go to tie the game and send this game into an extra period in which both teams possess the ball without scoring. Third and inches with 742 left in uh, overtime. The Dolphins are stuffed. They attempted... Uh, they, they passed up a 59-yard field goal, punted, and that paid off as Cameron Wake busts through and records the first walk-off safety since Al Al Wally Agunlier did it against the Titans in 2004, only the third time in NFL history that a game ended on a safety in overtime.